Hello everyone, this is Chandra Rafermunsky, and I'm an application engineer for GoEngineer. Exploded views are a great tool when working with assemblies. We can create them to help us visualize an itemized list of components in our bill of materials. And we can also use the exploded view to serve as a manufacturing tool that can show an operator how to assemble our products. Now previously, we've shown you how easy it is to create exploded views in SOLIDWORKS, but today I want to talk to you about how you can adjust the timing of your exploded views to be more useful for your designs. So let's take a look at how we can do this here in SOLIDWORKS. Like many of you, I found the exploded view command to be quite useful. One of the things I love about the exploded view is the animation that SOLIDWORKS displays when exploding or collapsing my assemblies. It's simply mesmerizing. But when using the exploded view, like many of you, I find it to be too fast to be used for any type of training or visual aid to my operators when assembling my designs. Now there are some tools in the animation controller that will slow down or speed up the explode slash clap visual while we're in SOLIDWORKS. But when we save out the exploded view as a video file, it maintains the fast playback speed that SOLIDWORKS shows in the command. Previously, the only way I found to slow down the explode slash collapse animation was to post-process a video file in a video editor such as Camtasia or Premiere Pro. Now video editors are a great tool, but did you know that there's a way to adjust the timing of your exploded view here in SOLIDWORKS? And the best part is, you can do this in the basic level, otherwise known as SOLIDWORKS standard. Notice down at the bottom left of your SOLIDWORKS window, there's a motion study tab. This is where we can create amazing animations to showcase the movement of our assemblies with a wide variety of movements. The great thing about working in this tab is that there's a helpful wizard tool that can guide us through on how to get started. In this wizard, we can choose between several different options. Note that for some options, there are specific requirements you need to do before using the wizard. When choosing explode or collapse, we can control the duration of the explode as well as the start time. Once we finish using the wizard, we can see that SOLIDWORKS has recorded keys at specific times for each movement of our components when we created the exploded view. Keep in mind any components that are hidden in folders or patterns used in your assemblies because they will have keys located on them as well. It is good practice to scrub through the timeline to see your exploded view to make sure everything imported correctly. Once it looks good, I'm going to repeat the same process to add in my collapsing animation. This time I'm going to have my start time occur when my exploded view ends. Now that everything has been added, I can start adjusting any keys to my liking to make sure I get the desired transitions of my components at desired times. After that, I'll scrub through my timeline one more time to see my assembly explode and collapse. Once everything looks great, you can save out your animation as a video file. And for those of you with SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional, you can export out any animations created here in SOLIDWORKS to SOLIDWORKS Visualize. From there, you can customize the colors of your models and any backgrounds and scenes. To draw viewers into my design, I like to add a new camera angle and have it follow my components. Once I'm done setting up everything in Visualize, I can render out my animation. So we can see that SOLIDWORKS not only gives us the ability to create exploded views, but also allows us to adjust the timing so that we can use our exploded views as a tool to help others understand how our designs are being assembled. This is Chandra Papagunski, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. For more tips and tricks, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And for all other solutions we offer, feel free to check out our website at GoEngineer.com.